Hello. So this is going to be looking at Python requests and when you have an SSL certificate error. So you can see what I've got here and it's certificate verify failed caused by SSL error. So if you see that when you're testing something, it means you need to do this. So I'll show you the code and then I'll um, demonstrate it. So import requests from requests dot packages dot URL uh, sorry URL lib three dot exceptions. There we go. <clears throat> Import insecure request warning. So this is the important bit. And um, what you need to do is if you if you just use requests.get.url, which is what I did there, get this error. So instead, what you need to do is use this, which is the same, but we do verify equals false. We get that option because we've imported requests and we've um, done from requests.packages. So um, if you want to test it, you can use this URL expired.badssl.com and it allows you to test it. And now when I run Python with the script's name, it works. You can see I've got a successful response. So that is, in a nutshell, how to bypass uh, an SSL cert error. Now, you probably wouldn't want to do that in production, but when might you want to do it? You might want to do it if you're actually doing some development. So if this is, um, uh, you could have an SS, uh, load balancer, for instance. You might have um, an F5 or something, and then your server's behind it. So you might actually have, uh, it might actually be doing SSL offloading. So you've got the you've got the internet out here coming in and it'll be coming in on 443, but you'll have the F5 load balancer doing the um, SSL offloading to a backend server, which may actually just be running HTTP and no SSL. It's called SSL offloading and it, it does happen in production, but um, <clears throat> if you're here inside the corporate network, for instance, and you want to do some tests to this server, or you may actually just want to be doing some uh, production code to this production server without actually needing to come in by the public facing interface. So yeah, that that's just, uh, you just do verify. Equals false. And that, what I'm just showing here is obviously the, the Python code. Um, so that is how to avoid an SSL error with <laughs> this is a very long, um, I'll maybe put a gist of this in the video description if that will help. Um, so yeah, thumbs up, subscribe, all the usual nonsense that YouTube people say, helps the channel, um, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, thank you. Thank you. And I'll be back soon.